You're watching another Raw Instinct commentary. Hey, what is going on guys? Max here, or Raw Instinct, and welcome to another Modern Warfare 3 breakdown video, and today we're going to be breaking down kick versus grip and which one you should be using. Now today I did some experiments with the M60 and I kind of tested out which gun would probably be better with kick versus grip and trust me guys this applies to mostly all the weapons in this game so today I'm going to be giving you guys a physical and a visual breakdown on which one you should be using and which one probably has the best stats. So before we get into the actual testing phase of kick versus grip, I'm going to be breaking down what each one does and what attributes each one has. So as you can see here, kick basically reduces a weapon's recoil by about 20% while aiming down the sights. Now a lot of people will say, well hell, this is not that much, you know, 20% isn't a lot. But if you think of it in a different perspective, you know, that's a small advantage that you'll have over an enemy if they are not using kick themselves. And as you can see here, grip, now what grip basically does is also re lowers the recoil of any weapon. And if we, you know, we're not 100% sure on how much percent it'll re lower the recoil but it definitely is a significant amount and I'll be showing you guys that next. Now to show you guys my final testing phase of kick versus grip, I did somewhat of a little breakdown in Photoshop. I used some of my Photoshop skills to give you guys a nice visual breakdown of each one. So if we take a look at the blue box here, we were using no kick, no grip, and the rep weapon spread is, you know, rather large. It's kind of inaccurate, but we were about 50 to 100 feet back. So for an M60, I mean, it's not that bad. It's pretty decent. But if we take a little step to the right, as you can see here in the red box, we have kick, and kick pretty much breaks down this box in half. It keeps, it, you know, the weapon bullet spread very tight, very small. So once again, kick does have a you know a really great effect on your weapon. But if we take another step to the right, we have the hands down winner here, guys. As you can see, grip basically makes this box a tenth of the size of the one in the blue, and probably an eighth or maybe a fifth of the size of the one in the red. So that has a huge effect on your gun. And I you know for shits and giggles, I decided to test out both. I put kick and grip on the same class, and it seemed like the weapon spread was a little smaller. But once again, that can be you know due to a few inconsistencies. I could have took a step forward or a step back. So once again. My hands down winner is grip guys. I mean, it's an all-out winner You do not need to use kick and grip you can use a different weapon proficiency if you want But once again guys that is my breakdown for you guys today I hope you guys did enjoy it if you did like it Please guys, please 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 make sure to like and favorite the video below I did some really good editing in this video and I'd really appreciate it And also guys, I will be bringing out some more weapon breakdowns in the future Sorry if I haven't been putting out a lot of videos I've been on vacation and I will be home at in January. So thank you guys Hope you guys have a great day. It's Max or Ron Sink here. I'm signing out. Peace. Now on screen we have links to two really great videos, guys. Click one that you'd prefer to watch. On the left hand side we have the most overpowered gun in Modern Warfare 3. I do kind of a breakdown on this video. It was really great. I really did enjoy making it. And on the right hand side we have the world's first triple MOAB gameplay. And I think it's the world's only triple MOAB gameplay. So definitely check that out. A lot of people have been enjoying that gameplay. And for a surprise video below, guys, make sure to click that box. But if you want to, please add me as a friend on Facebook, guys. We are almost at 4,000 friends. Follow me on Twitter. Have a great day. Peace.